In this video, we will be solving an exponential equation using logarithms. Recall that if you have an exponential, b to the x equal a, it can be rewritten as a logarithmic statement. The base of your exponential is the base of your logarithm, and a logarithm is an exponent. A logarithm is an exponent. Now our example that we're going to be working with is solve 8 to the x power equals 21. Anytime we have a variable in the exponent, we need to use logarithms to solve. Unless, of course, we could have write, written these bases uh, with the same base, but in this case it's not possible. This is 2 to the third power, and 21 is not a power of anything. So, uh, what we want to do is take this exponential and rewrite it as a logarithm, okay? using this rule up here. So the log our base of our exponential is 8, so the base of our logarithm is 8. A log is an exponent, so since my exponent is x, this x goes here. And then the argument is what the exponential is equal to. Now we're going to use change of base theorem. And that says that the log of 21 base 8 is the same as the log of 21 divided by the log of 8. Or we could do ln 21 divided by ln 8. So let's do this one. The log of 21 divided by the log of 8. And we get to the nearest thousandth, means we have to round uh, behind the 4, so 1.464. Now let me just show you with the ln, this expression, ln of 21 divided by ln 8, we get the same value. Now if you're using this type of calculator, we have to do everything backwards. So we're going to be taking 21 log. So we would first enter 21 and then hit the log button, divided by 8, hit the log button, and then equals. We get the same value. Again, if we're using LNs, we would take 21 LN divided by 8 LN it equals. Now we could check ourselves. We're getting x to be about 1.464, so our answer uh, won't be exact, but should be close to 21. If we take 8 and raise that, this is your power key, to the 1.464, we get a number pretty close to 21, so this checks 